Hi there, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Dilly, and this is lesson 15-1 for, um, this is an introduction to the new chapter. Um, we're going to be looking at numerical patterns, and our goal for today is to be able to analyze or sort of study and learn about numerical patterns. So here we go. So it says that Emma has $100 in her savings account, and Jorge has $50 in his savings account. They each put $10 into their accounts at the end of the week. Um, so they're putting the same amount in, but they're starting from different places. You can see here we have this is Emma's and this is Jorge's. Complete the tables to find out, to see how much each of them has saved after five weeks. And then it wants to know what patterns we notice. So if we were in class, I know you would get through this like super quick because we're just going to add $10 to each one. So this is going to be 110, 120, 130, 140 and 150, like super simple, right? And then this one is just gonna go 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, okay? And so then it wants to know what are some patterns that you notice? And so let me just talk to you about some patterns that I notice. The first one is that they both have $50 more in their account after five weeks because 100 plus 50 is 150 and 50 plus 50 is 100. Um, another pattern I notice is that this 110 and this 60, well, if you subtract 60 from 110, that's 50. And the same is true for um, 70 and 120 and 80 and 130 and 90 and 140 and one, 100 and 150. And the same was true back here with the 50 and the 100. And so the amount that they're separated, the, the difference isn't changing because they're adding the same amount each time they're adding this ten dollars each time um and then the question at the bottom asks if the saving pattern continues will jorge ever have as much saved as emma um and the answer to that is of course no because he started off smaller and then than she did but they're saving the same amount. Um, and it's because of the words the the savings pattern is continuing. So that is lesson 15-1. That's what I have for you.